so this one, where do I even begin again? One day, I remember my mom came into my room and I was playing with toys, action figures, and she came to play with me and I told her that I wanted a little brother. So then not long after that, she gets pregnant and one day I remember her coming home with one of her friends. I think it was Sherry from next door and she has this baby here with her. And I see him for the first time. This is Kevin. This is my little brother that nobody knows about. And they're always shocked to see him. And they think he's nothing like me. So, Kevin is like... Having Kevin as a younger sibling is like hitting the lottery. He was so innocent. He was so kind. He was so wonderful. I've never even seen him formulate a bad thought. He would fight so much in our old neighborhood and he would always win. And it was never his fault and he was just a great dude. We love video games. We love Nintendo. He was just great. Like he was special in ways nobody would ever understand unless you knew him, you know. This is Mr. Kyle, you don't have to leave the house and fight or you don't have to leave the house and hurt anyone. You can stay here and just play the game with me. And of course, I would never listen. I'd always go outside and destroy stuff. Because that's the nature of the beast. You know what I'm saying? The way I was bred is just different, you know. But there's too many memories about Kevin to even begin listing them all but some of the best were just simple like he used to play harvest moon and he wanted his own farm he he was just the best I remember he let me borrow dark souls right after I shot myself in the face. And I loved that game. Dark Souls 3, I believe. This is my little brother. And it just makes me think that the same bitch ass, ho ass, piece of shit ass fucking system that would arrest me for being an entrepreneur and for defending my family and providing the same piece of shit system that would prosecute me in court as a fucking African American man put out a warrant for me fucking lock me up in a desert and expect me to get a fucking job and behave is the same fucking dumbass system that would fire me for that would woo, fire me from that fucking job by accusing me of being a racist white man because of my skin color and really Push that forward as if it was logical. Because that same piece of shit fucking system spreads racial propaganda all over the internet to get people fired up 
in order to vote for one piece of shit political company or another. Man, fuck y'all. I should step on your fucking necks for real. I should go on a, I should go on a spree, a spree of something that I won't even say because that's how much disdain I have for this system right now. I have, I, I, I have to start over from zero, from zero because a piece of shit human resources company and a piece of fucking shit work building would look at my skin color and believe a slur. Believe a slur that is associated with white people and hit me with that. When I had left the streets to work there, to be a good boy like the system claims it wanted. And all I want to do is provide for my family. Did the people at the human resources company or the whatever, the HR department in that fucking piece of shit company. Did they, did they, did they ever expect that my little brother would look like this? Did they ever wonder what a person with brown skin could mean to me when they made that accusation? Do they even care? Are they out there caring? I doubt it. Why? Because it's a sociopathic system that cries and would act horrified and terrified if that sociopathy was reciprocated onto them. And I got to think about this every single day for the rest of my life until this is rectified. I won't forget ever. I have, woo. It's not, it's not gonna go away. Anyways, this is Kevin, my secret little brother. Dude is, dude is worth everything to have, to have a sibling like this. is to have hit the lottery several times over. I still remember me, him and Deshaun walking through the woods exploring and him getting scared because we found a skull and I picked up the skull (laughs) and he shouted out, it's a skull. Man, this dude. I wish I could do more for him. But I might be dead soon or behind bars because of the psychosis and the depression that was inflicted upon me by this multi-billion dollar corporation that thinks it's safe from retribution. Whoever's listening to this, if you're on the side of GM, fuck you. I could be 70 years old and I'm still gonna be thinking of this. And don't think I won't be able to move and breathe and talk and speak and think. And enact complex actions. That spawn from complex thoughts. That are probably so complex and demented and full of lunacy and Alzheimer's and depression That if anything popped off, I don't think I would be mentally competent to even understand the process that ensues. Fuck y'all.